Hello, YouTube. This is Fox1989, and this time I actually can say <laughs> here again with another episode of Majora's Mask. Now, I've had several people uh, demand that I continue the series, and I actually found what's probably the best idea is to actually restart it completely. So I've gone and deleted my... Well, no, I don't have the original save file because I was using an emulator back then, but now I actually have it on my Wii. Well, I had it on my Wii the entire time. It's just I have my Hapog now when I didn't last time. And simply because it's a last play, I'm just going to go ahead and call him Link. Hey, I can't use the freaking uh, D-pad for this. And so here we go again. <coughs> Excuse me. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. And I didn't read that fast enough. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he had parted when he had finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place. I didn't read the rest. Now, I was going to adjust my mic a little higher. This is probably going to get a little noisy. There we go. It's a little hard to see my TV with the mic as low as it was. Hopefully the balance on this between the game and my voice isn't um, too quiet. However, I'm probably only going to be getting an episode or two of this up before I get my new mic in, which is going to be on Tuesday. So whenever I have a chance, I believe I only work in the afternoons, Wednesday, Thursday, so I might do some more recording then. For those of you who don't know, I have just recently ordered a um, a Blue Yeti Nessie mic, and that's going to be my uh, mainstay recording mic from now on. Um, currently, I am using the uh, USB mic that came with Guitar Hero World Tour on the Wii, and uh, although it looks like a professional recording mic, it's actually a pretty crappy quality one, so... Um, as you can sh as you can tell, there's no pop filter or anything on it, so my p and all that is really really strong on this one. Whereas the other one comes with a built-in pop filter, and I can always just use an external one too if I want for an additional pop reduction. But the Nessie also um, naturally reduces the uh, or like naturally edits out background noise and uh, strong um, strong peaks and pops and stuff like that. So it's gonna make it's gonna be a much better mic. It's gonna make me sound a lot better. It's gonna basically do the editing work for me. But I suppose I should stop letting uh, school kids sit here and laugh and actually, you know, read the game. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina! Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tail. What will we do if we draw if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, uh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Because you're too small to put your lips around the stupid hole, maybe? <laughs> I'm sure you understand that, um... The fairies are not actually just balls with wings. They actually are human-shaped. However, they just simply glow too bright to be seen.
Screw bro, I'm making money. No magic, no magic spin attack. Forgot about that. Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Just making sure. So, just so you guys know, I, you can already guess because of the length of this video, but I'm going to be planning to make these half an hour episodes. It's going to be a relatively long game, so even at half an hour episodes, um, this is still probably going to take me about 20 to 25 parts to finish. It also depends how much of the side questing I do, but I do hopefully plan to get every mask. And, uh... Even if I get the Ferris DT mask, I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether you guys actually want me to use it and simply end the fight quickly or try to finish the fight without the mask. The first time I beat the game, I did uh, do it without the mask because I didn't know the FD mask was actually a thing. Uh, that being said, I haven't beat him without the FD mask in who knows how long, so I can't remember how to properly fight his stages. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> ah, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you really think you can beat me as you are now? Fool. The words go way too fast, but as long as I can read it internally, I can probably repeat it externally. <coughs> My phone just done buzz. Just an email. <laughs> Apparently just somebody commented power plants, not even using the vowels on my one of my evil genius fits, so yeah, that's a weird email. <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Hey, uh, Tattle, you're getting left behind. S Sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. No, I can't do female voices, so shut up. You, if I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have got separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy, do something. Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just get that door open for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking, so hurry up. Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child would be alright on his own. That's weird. I don't think it's possible to come all the way back here, but... Those, um... Those bushes just moved as if, um... What's his name? I want to say QB, but I don't know, that's not it, but... Uh, the fox guy and, you know, the one with his mask. Like, as if he could appear there. If you come back with the mask and... If you, uh...
attack the grass, like, he'll appear and he has a quiz and you can get, like, heart containers and stuff off of it, but... I don't think you can come back here all the way. Hmm. Well, it'll be something to check out later. So, um, that stuff back there, I, um, apologize. So take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle, so it's, uh, nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get going? If I if I figure something out, push up C and I'll tell you I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. As if I need your help. So, if I recall correctly, this should be some Deku nuts. There you go. See? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them and you can talk to them. So you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. No! No! I jumped off the edge. I released the button too early. Almost forgot about this one. I was going to go straight for the uh, one down there. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It's all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying at any second. How sad. So, for those of you who know the lore of this game, or who don't know but want to know, that stump there is presumed to be the butler's son. As at the end of the game, you see him come out and, like, cry over the tree. And it's also presumed that when he, because he says he, you look like his son, that, um, the the mask that's created from the uh, from when you get your deke powers removed is essentially the same as like it's, it's the Deku son uh, Deku Butler son's soul because all the other masks are based off of souls but see what I mean is you can't get back through this door now so there's like no way to get back to that patch of grass You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I 
I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from, my, from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. Now, don't take me rude, but I've been following you. Oh my god, I make him sound like um, Ryan Stiles' version of Carol Channing. <laughs> I know of way I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask from that imps that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place, place, this place in three days. How grateful would I be if you can bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. So we're just about to hit 20 minutes. And like I said, I'll put it to about 30 and then I'll call it an episode. And I'm going to see if I can do right up until the point where I can change back into Human Link. He gives me the creeps, that mask salesman. Oh, that mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that leaves us only a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, that Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find the great fairy in there. Of course, for anybody who knows this game, the um, great fairy, of course, has been shattered into pieces. See, that mask, that's the one I was talking about. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. Please, hear my plea. The mask Skullkit has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the Fairy Fountain in North Clock Town. So I would have to get that before I can go and... Um, before I can go and... Uh, see the Great Fairy. I was going to want to stop by and open my bank account as well. Do ten for now. Yeah, I know, I totally forgot to voice him. Frankly, I'm gonna be speaking to a lot of different characters and I'm not sure if I have the capacity to do all those different voices. If anything, you might just get a couple that sound similar. I just want to quickly visit all the different sections of Clock Down just to um, get this little cutscene crap over with. And just head up right up to North Clock Down here. But see, that's why I went in that specific order. Is go to west first, go across to east, and then after that you can go straight to north. 
Go away, Tinkle. Nobody likes you. Oh no! The Great Fairy! shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am that great fairy of magic. I thought that the masked kid was helping me, but I grew careless. All I can offer you is now, now is this. I shall grant you magic powers as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. So there's a total of five great fairies um, that watch over the land of Termina. There's one in Clocktown, and then there's one near each of the four dungeons. And inside every dungeon there are 15 shattered remnants of one of the great fairies. If you can collect all 15 and bring them to the matching fairy fountain, you will receive a gift from each of the fairies. I believe you get... I think it's an extended magic meter from the first one, either out of the great spin attack. And then the second one is, once again, either the great spin attack or the extended magic bar. Uh, the third one, I believe the Great Bay one, gives you the double defense where you get the little white uh, white circles around or, or uh, white shapes around your hearts and you take half damage from all sources. Or have double health, however you want to see it. And then if you can do all of the uh, ones at Stonehead Temple, which unfortunately is one of the super hardest. It took me hours to find all of them back when I had this game on the console. Um then you will receive the Great Fairy Sword, which is the strongest sword in the game. I do believe it causes your health to slowly regenerate, as well as dealing the single most damage of all swords in the game. However, unlike any other sword, it's actually an equipable C item and not a actual sword. So if you remember, Tinkle was on the ground just a second ago, but you see, now he's taken to the air. So at this point, uh, we can shoot him down and he'll be able to sell us maps. So for example, now he'll sell us a uh, clock town map as well as probably Woodfall. Because usually he sells the maps in the area that you're in as well as in the next area coming up. However, um, it is cheaper to buy the maps in the area you need them and not early. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a digger scrub. <laughs> we bombers have a hideout, at least the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. No, I can't do little kid voices either. Alright, line up, guys. <laughs> if you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Ah, you caught me. Now there's only four left. By the way, I'm lazy, so all four of these kids are getting identical voices. Besides, they all look identical. Oh, come on. Did I get him or not? He sat down. No, I didn't get him. Ah, you got me. Now there's only three left.
There's one right here, but he's gonna jump as soon as we get close. Ah, you got me. Now there's only two left. I do believe there's one in Central Clock Town or South Clock Town, and one in West. Is there one here? I can't remember. I don't think so. Maybe not. Ah, you caught me. Now there's only one left. Forgot about him. Way you finally got me. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then I can give you a, an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! Sorry, Colton. You can't get in. <laughs> Sorry, inside joke. I guess not. Once, we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can only tell you once, so play co pay close attention. Are you ready? Well, I suppose it'll have to wait till next episode then, because it's, uh, it's been 30 minutes. So, thanks for watching, and thanks for listening. I'm Fox1999, and you'll find out the code next time on Fox Plays Majora's Masks. See you later.